Alrighty, we're recording this time, Billy. We're recording this time. Really? Yeah. I think I did. <laughs> ah, probably out that way, past the old Kaufman Flats and Rubber Road. Why are you drilling so much, buddy? Because I got him excited. Me? Yeah, you just make sure you stay here instead of chasing my bike. I had to give my bike a shot of ether to get her to fire up. Mr. Popo. Yes, so Billy came down from Orangeville and we're going out riding in my neck of the woods. Man, do I like his bike. This used to be called Bridgeport, but now it's just been absorbed into as part of Kitchener. You no know, Lancaster Hotel. Don't know how many times that place burned down. Hmm, think maybe it was an insurance scam. That's my girlfriend's barber shop. No, actually, that's the girl that I built the uh, rod holders for there. Miss Tammy. This gas station. They tore it down, moved it 60 feet so they could make this stupid roundabout here. This used to be country and just a few houses here. Used to go straight through here and then they did this because they brought this street down to join up. This place right here used to be a wildlife game preserve type thingy, whatever. There used to be a mink farm just up here on the left. I don't know if it's still here or not. I haven't been out this way in a while. 
Yeah, it's gone. Yep, all gone. Now there's like freaking million dollar homes out here. Wow. Holy crap, man. It's been a while since I've been out this way, that's for sure. Can't believe how it's built up. Wow, unbelievable. Holy crap. Oh, I'll bet you I should have turned there. Damn, yep, I know I should have. See how long it's been? I don't even know where the hell I am. Wow. Yep, I should have turned there. Oh well, what do you do? It's been so long since I've been down here. This is where the really sharp bend used to be. Oh. Now, none of this stuff was here. Oh. Kiwana Parks is right down there. You used to come at this bend right here. It used to be like a really sharp 90 heading that way. And then you'd come down this road here and it would take you into the park. That's why when I got here, as soon as I started to leave, I'm like, oh, I should have turned there. Like I said, I haven't been down in this neighborhood in I'll bet you 30 years. Oh my God, I can't believe all the houses they put up. Crazy. Holy. Oh, I know, it's nuts. Well, it just says, we come around that one bend where those uh, mother and three daughters were. Yeah. Did you see that place that had that fence all the way around it? Yeah. That used to be a wildlife sanctuary. Oh, really? He would take in injured animals and whatnot, like deer and coyote and stuff like that. Oh. <coughs> and there was like a little trout pond in there. Mm -hmm. And then just this side of it, there used to be a mink farm. Oh, okay. yeah. Every once in a while, you'd see a couple of splattered mink on the road that had escaped, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, I haven't been down this way in, well, it's got to be 30 years. Wow. years a lot changes eh wow so I'm guessing this is going to be classified as Waterloo now Oh, here we go. I'm going to get lost in suburbia hell because I've never been back here in so long. The heck street is this? University. Holy Jesus. Crap, 
for the Billy. Oh, there he is. There he is. We used to bogging right here. Yeah, this just used to be a two-lane frickin' cow path. You would turn somewhere around here to go down into Kiwanis, or sorry, Copper Flats. Where the heck's the road now? Oh, right there, there it is. Yeah, right there. Take you down into Copper Flats, that's the Grand River. Just on the other side, you saw those ponds when I was up at the hill there. The uh, Ministry of Natural Resources and Stead and Evans, I think, or Signalers Gravel Pit did a coordination when they got so deep and they hit water. They used them ponds as uh, stocking rearing pens for bass, pike, and trout. Not too many people know about it. You can see them there. There they are. Those big ponds. Man, I can't get over how they built this up. Holy crap. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah, this was nothing but farmland. is going to bring me out on the Northfield Drive. I must have missed a road somewhere here, somewhere. Yeah, I'm thinking I must have missed something somewhere. This seems like it's just taking me around in a big circle. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there's Blackberry there. Grim, whatever you want to call it. Pretty sure this is going to be Northfield Drive here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I must have missed a road somewhere. Well, like I said, it's been 30 freaking years since I've been out here, so.
Last time I was on this road, I almost smoked two deer right here. I come up out of this ditch. This is the town of Conestoga. This is the road I wanted to come out on. Holy, yeah, there, there's some money. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, oh, it's for sale too. What do you think, two million? Wow. That's quite the little place. Wouldn't want to have to clean it or heat it. Yeah, this is the road I wanted to come out on. Right here. I don't even know what they call it now. We used to call it rubber road because we used to do burnouts on it. <laughs> no doubt, eh? This is the road I was looking for that I wanted to bring you down. Oh, okay. Come down over there. There used to be another one of these iron bridges just over there. Right. But they just filled it in and diverted the creek over this way. Oh, so wow. that they didn't have the maintenance of the two bridges. Sense, yeah. 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 Oh. But yeah, I'm like, I, I got totally lost when I got up there. I'm like, where in the hell is this bringing me out? And then when I saw the Waterloo Hydro, I'm like, oh, this is going to dump me out on Northfield. So Northfield is basically Highway 85. If you take it all the way and keep going, yeah. it'll take you right into, uh, or sorry, not 85. Uh, it'll take you into Salem. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, and then you just go right around through and bring you out into Alora, right? Into Alora, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the only way I think I could figure out how to find this road again is if we backtracked it back. But I don't want to go back to all that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, very. Yeah. Well, like I said, this road it wasn't even paved when I was a kid, 30 years ago. It was all gravel, and it was like a lane and a half. And if you got behind a tractor with a big shit spreader, you were stuck behind him until he turned off. Yeah. And then we used to, and and the actual bridge is wood. Yeah. All joined together and you'd stop on there and throw a little bleach down you could actually start the bridge on fire by doing a burnout yeah 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 well, it's that stone and tar chip now yeah yeah wow when I when I got lost at the first turn I, I yeah I, I was it I was done but there has to be a road coming off of there somewhere to get over here yeah. but I just don't know where it is well yeah see it, yeah. Go, it goes around like that and then it goes up the hill past that farm yeah. 
and then it goes down and well before it used to go to the left and then a sharp right and then went down the hill and right where we hit those set of lights as you went down and then back up and you looked to your right you saw the river yeah. well that's where that used road used to go was right there there used to be a big dip in the road there so i'm wondering if there, i missed the road there somewhere that this one is right i don't know Oh yeah, the display goes off after 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Saves on battery life. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Man, can you get some wicked air when you come this way? <laughs> <coughs> we're gonna be going past a buddy of mine's place just down the road here, okay. and then we're gonna be turning left. When I point, you'll see his house. He put an $80,000 addition on the place and it was his mom's house, mm -hmm. and then his mom died, and his sister wanted half of everything, and he's like, well, I just paid for that addition. She goes, I don't care. Oh, it's down the middle, eh? Yep. Oh, wow. oh, you dirty bugger. This is where the Conestoga River and the Grand River meet, just around the bend up here. You can see how the Grand's kind of flowing a little clean. And you'll see up here where the Conestoga is coming in, it almost looks dirty. Right there. That's where the two rivers meet.
back on the town we're about to come into here. I know it starts with a W. Winter burn. Wow, why did I draw a blank on that? This is a nice little town. Not too bad. It hasn't expanded a whole lot yet. But I'm sure within the next 10 years, they're going to be just like that freaking north end of Waterloo is there where I just got lost. Ball party. Gonna say, wanna go join the beach party, play some volleyball with the Mennonite ladies? <laughs> Do you know where you are now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take a ride down and just 
and we'll come back up and head over to Alora, and then we'll cut across to Fergus and we can part ways there you can go home and I'll go home that way you still have time to ride with Dylan because yeah. I'm sure if you don't make it back he's gonna be mad at you <laughs> yeah That is still the Grand River there. This little town is called uh, Westmount Rose. Holy crap. <laughs> we got snow, boys. We got snow. Hang on to her. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that windstorm just killed all the trees in this area. Holy crap. Well, I thought I saw a car coming through there. This should be Highway 86, I believe. Eighty-five, eighty-six, yeah, eighty-six. Nope. Yep. Yep. Eighty-six. Go that way. Takes you to Elmira. That way to Guelph. where they took out the old train bridge over there. They've stocked all this section here with brown trout. I haven't fished for them yet down here. One day I'll get out here.
There's the old bridge right there. Next little town we're going through is called Inver Huron. Or something like no Inver Hall. Inver Hall, I believe. Yeah, Inver Huron is up in uh, near Concord. There was talk a while back that they wanted to dam the Grand River just over here and make another lake like Bellwood Lake, but I don't know what happened to the actual planning of it. But I thought that's probably a really bad idea. It's like how many dams and lakes do you need on one river system? It wouldn't serve a purpose for anything. Except for recreational use, that'd be it. I wish Billy would get up here so I could get some footage of him. Yeah, that's a section right there that they wanted to flood, make it a lake. Oh. 